guys welcome back to the channel this is the stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis so for today's video I thought I would do a flip through of this beautiful beautiful new book by the lovely Debbie Densham now Debbie Densham is on Instagram um, she has her Instagram page she's a independent artist as well and I think this is the second book that she's recently bought out. Um, she very kindly sent me this book for review. So thank you, Debbie, um, so much for that. I really do appreciate that. Um, as soon as I saw this on Instagram, a bit of it, I thought that it's definitely up my street because it's kind of, it's got a bit of a twist, this book. So this is called Floral Mandalas folk art style beautiful hand-drawn mandalas with color palette suggestions so and it gives you some samples at the back so at the back of the book it gives you the pictures and it also gives you a suggestion of a color palette at the bottom now you don't have to follow that color palette it's just there for you guys for if you are interested in doing that I'll go in a bit more in detail with it so let's open it up with the first page so the first page is obviously the copyright page so away Debbie Densham the pages are single-sided but instead of a black background they are different colored background so it says just being careful mindful that the sun isn't shining in too much so how to enjoy this book do you love color by number which in my case yes totally <laughs> many color by number books use a similar color palette and if you love color by number you may have a number of marker pen pencil colors that you use a little less often so you may also want to challenge yourself by exploring where colours work best on a page but be a little nervous to go at it cold turkey. Um, in this book, each beautiful mandala comes with its own colour palette suggestion. Use the suggested palette to place each colour wherever you feel it works best within the design. Don't stress if you don't have the exact colour match Pick something similar or swap it for your own colour choice. Add extra colour or leave one out. Most importantly, just have fun and enjoy adding colour to the page. So then it gives you your, this page belong to, and obviously you can colour that. And I have done one, how to veer. So then it goes into the pictures. So basically each picture has a colour palette at the bottom, as I showed you at the back. So it's kind of a little bit like a colour by number. You can use you can use your own colour palette. You don't have to use that. Or you can just take some of the colours from that and put it into the picture yourself. So it's kind of a bit like a colour by number where but you don't have any numbers on the pictures. You decide where you want those colours to go. Um before actually that this book came, when I saw a if it was it a picture or video on Instagram I did make a comment on Debbie Densham's page and said oh it reminds me a lot like a colour by number but without the numbers and she says that's the idea that she was going for um, when this book came yesterday because I've already done this picture I was talking to my husband about it and even my husband he's not a colourist but even he was saying the concept, the idea of the book is really good. The fact that you can choose wherever your colours go. So basically what I did with this picture is I used those colours. I started from the middle and I started with that colour and went my way out. The only bit that I didn't use the markers for was this big space here. Um, I did use Copic alcohol markers for the rest of it, but I just used a general Black Widow pencil just to colour in that large space. So when I could get it, because what I'm doing with this now is the colour palette at the bottom, I'm going to use that as a basic layer. Then I'm going to add 
the different bits. Um, what I did after I did the pencil bit and did all the colours was I went over with, it's a dual metallic gel pen and I don't know if you're going to be able to see on here, but you can see a little bit there. I went in the outlines of the flowers um, on the edges of the page. I went, I can't see that. I went these petals round here as well. I went with the outline of that with a glitter gel pen just to give it that little bit of an extra spark. And I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I did really enjoy that. So we'll have a look at the rest of the pictures. So as I said, the inner bits of the mandala probably will use a pencil, but... Starting from the middle of the mandala, I'm going to start from that colour and then work my way out. What I think is perfect about this book as well is it doesn't have to be for a colour by number fan. So, so if you do like normal colouring but you're not so much a colour by number fanatic, it, it can be the book for you. It just gives you suggestions of colours to use or you can use your own colour palette. Or if you're like me and you do, you like normal colouring books but you prefer colour by number. Um, it gives you that thing as well where you can kind of do it as a colour by number. You just choose where they go. So I just think it's a great idea. Not to mention as well one of the discussions that me and my husband was having yesterday when I received this book. He said the great idea about it is is even though it's kind of got a bit got the colour codes at the bottom kind of a bit like a colour by number nobody's picture will be the same so it's saying like a normal general colour by number book where say one is black two is grey three is brown um, in a normal general colour by number book, obviously everyone's going to have those same colours just different shades where with this one um, with the colour code at the bottom, no one's picture is going to be the same because no one's going to decide to put the colours in the same place. I hope I'm making sense. So I think I am. So it's a perfect thing. He said um, no picture is going to be the same uh, in each of people's colourings, even if we do use these colour palettes because they're going to be different. So I absolutely love the idea of that, not to mention... I've not seen, or unless one has come out, but I haven't seen many books with this kind of concept to it, um, where you have like a colour palette and you choose where to put them colours. I've not seen a book like that before and I must admit I really, really do like the idea of it, not to mention the colour palettes are quite small so it's not requiring you to use that many colours on a picture unless you want to as I said in the book um, you can do whatever, whatever colour palette you want this down here is just like a suggestion of what you may want to use but I find it as a nice uh, kind of like a colouring challenge as well um, you say you get those that many colours for this picture and you can kind of challenge yourself of where to put the colours um, you can use all the colours you can only use two of the colours if you wanted um, but yet there's just a lot of things you can do with this um, as I said with this book what I'll be doing is I shall be using definitely the colour code at the bottom I'll be using that as a basic layer for the picture and then I'll be going in with um, glitter gel pen to give it a sparkle as well so i absolutely love the pictures the pictures are really really good quality the paper is good quality the line art is good quality it's not too dark it's not too light to the point where you can't see the lines because if you like me i don't like it really really thick that just looks pixelated I uh, this here is my perfect line art I I love this line art I'm not a big fan on the really light line art I do like to see the line art in it so it is really really good and I do love the layout of it and there is some really really beautiful pictures in the book 
and I'm quite intrigued to, to know maybe if possibly Debbie Densham was planning on bringing any more books out like this one. Um, I'd be more intrigued in that definitely. So at the back of the book you get your coloured te palette test page. So you get one, two of those. So those come in handy for if you want to test your different mediums what you want to use. And then at the very back of the book, it's got your thank you for purchasing my book. If you enjoyed colouring this book, please consider leaving a review on Amazon. Your ratings and review help others in deciding to purchase my book and are greatly appreciated. So at the bottom it says, should you wish to contact me, feel free to email me. And it's got her email details at the bottom and it's also got her Instagram. So... On Instagram, she goes by at Colour Crazy Colourist. So she's a lovely lady, lovely, lovely lady. And that is it, guys. So that is the flip through of the new book by Debbie Densham called Floral Mandala's Folk Art Style. So, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to press that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Um, I usually leave it three days for the video. However, I am actually going to uh, post this up today because um, I do want to get it posted because I have got another... Um, I will have another colouring book flip through that I really want to do. So, I will post this one up today as soon as that one i'll pass that up soon and yeah anyway i'm gonna leave it there for now guys um get some lunch in a minute and i hope you all have a lovely weekend so i'll see you again soon guys so goodbye for now bye